Hello everyone, welcome to my channel this is healthy nutrition. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe today. Take care of your teeth Achieving healthy teeth takes a lifetime of care. Even if you've been told that you have nice teeth, it's crucial to take the right steps every day to take care of them and prevent problems. This involves getting the right oral care products as well as being mindful of your daily habits. Number 1 Don't go to bed without brushing your teeth It's no secret that the general recommendation is to brush at least twice a day. Still, many of us continue to neglect brushing our teeth at night. But brushing before bed gets rid of the germs and plaque that accumulate throughout the day. Number 2 Brush properly The way you brush is equally important A In fact, doing a poor job of brushing your teeth is almost as bad as not brushing at all. Take your time. Moving the toothbrush in gentle, circular motions to remove plaque. Unremoved plaque can harden, leading to calculus buildup and gingivitis, early gum disease. Number 3 Don't neglect your tongue Plaque can also build up on your tongue. Not only can this lead to bad mouth odor, but it can lead to other oral health problems. Gently brush your tongue every time you brush your teeth. Number 4 Use a fluoride toothpaste When it comes to toothpaste, there are more important elements to look for than whitening power and flavors. No matter which version you choose, make sure it contains fluoride. While fluoride has come under scrutiny by those worried about how it impacts other areas of health, this substance remains a mainstay in oral health. This is because fluoride is a leading defense against tooth decay. It works by fighting germs that can lead to decay, as well as providing a protective barrier for your teeth. Number 5 Treat flossing as important as brushing Many who brush regularly neglect to floss. Flossing is not just for getting little pieces of food or broccoli that may be getting stuck in between your teeth, as Jonathan Schwartz, DDS, points out. It's really a way to stimulate the gums, reduce plaque, and help lower inflammation in the area. Flossing once a day is usually enough to reap these benefits. Number 6 Don't let flossing difficulties stop you. Flossing can be difficult especially for young children and older adults with arthritis. Rather than give up, look for tools that can help you floss your teeth. Ready-to-use dental flossers from the drugstore can make a difference. Number 7 Consider mouthwash Advertisements make mouthwash seem necessary for good oral health, but many people skip them because they don't know how they work. Schwartz says mouthwash helps in three ways. It reduces the amount of acid in the mouth, cleans hard-to-brush areas in and around the gums, and remineralizes the teeth. Mouthwashes are useful as an adjunct tool to help bring things into balance, he explains. I think in children and older people, where the ability to brush and floss may not be ideal, a mouthwash is particularly helpful. Ask your dentist for specific mouthwash recommendations. Certain brands are best for children, and those with sensitive teeth. Prescription mouthwash is also available. Number 8 Drink more water Water continues to be the best beverage for your overall health A including oral health. Also, as a rule of thumb, Schwartz recommends drinking water after every meal. This can help wash out some of the negative effects of sticky and acidic foods and beverages in between brushes. Number 9 Eat crunchy fruits and vegetables Ready to eat foods are convenient, but perhaps not so much when it comes to your teeth. Eating fresh. Crunchy produce not only contains more healthy fiber, but it's also the best choice for your teeth. I tell parents to get their kids on harder to eat and chew foods at a younger age, says Schwartz. So try to avoid the overly mushy processed stuff. Stop cutting things into tiny pieces, and get those jaws working. Number 10 Limit Sugary and Acidic Foods Ultimately, sugar converts into acid in the mouth which can then erode the enamel of your teeth. These acids are what lead to cavities. Acidic fruits, teas, and coffee can also wear down tooth enamel. While you don't necessarily have to avoid such foods altogether, it doesn't hurt to be mindful. Number 11 See your dentist at least twice a year Your own everyday habits are crucial to your overall oral health. Still, even the most dutiful brushers and flossers need to see a dentist regularly, at minimum. You should see your dentist for cleanings and checkups twice a year. Not only can a dentist remove calculus and look for cavities, but they will also be able to spot potential issues and offer treatment solutions. Some dental insurance companies even cover more frequent dental checkups. If this is the case for you, take advantage of it. Doing so is especially helpful if you have a history of dental issues. 
such as gingivitis or frequent cavities. Take care of your teeth Some say the eyes are the window to the soul, but if you really want to know what someone's about, check their smile. A welcoming show of pearly whites makes a great first impression, while a tight-lipped smile or whiff of bad breath does the opposite. 7 Daily Habits to Protect Your Teeth 1. Brush 2 times a day for 2 minutes Brush your teeth for 2 minutes, twice a day, says the American Dental Association. Ada. This will keep your teeth in top form. Brushing your teeth and tongue with a soft bristle toothbrush and fluoride toothpaste cleans food and bacteria from your mouth. Brushing also washes out particles that eat away at your teeth and cause cavities. 2. A morning brush fights morning breath. The mouth is 98.6 A superscript OF, 37 A superscript OC, warm and wet. It's filled with food particles and bacteria. These lead to deposits called plaque. When it builds up, it calcifies, or hardens, on your teeth to form tartar, also called calculus. Not only does tartar irritate your gums, it can lead to gum disease as well as cause bad breath. Be sure to brush in the morning to help get rid of the plaque that's built up overnight. 3. Don't overbrush if you brush more than twice a day, for a longer than 4 minutes total. You could wear down the enamel layer that protects your teeth. When tooth enamel isn't there, it exposes a layer of dentin. Dentin has tiny holes that lead to nerve endings. When these are triggered, you might feel all sorts of pain. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, almost 20% trusted source of American adults have experienced pain and sensitivity in their teeth. 4. Don't turbocharge It's also possible to brush too hard. Brush your teeth like you are polishing an eggshell. If your toothbrush looks like someone sat on it, you're applying too much pressure. Enamel is strong enough to protect teeth from everything that goes on inside your mouth, from eating and drinking to beginning the digestive process. Children and teens have softer enamel than adults, leaving their teeth more prone to cavities and erosion from food and drink. 6. It doesn't matter when you do it you finally have an answer to the age-old question, which comes first. Flossing or brushing, it doesn't matter, according to the ADA, as long as you do it every day. 7. Stay away from soda sip all day. Get the K is a campaign from the Minnesota Dental Association to warn people of the dangers of soft drinks. It's not just sugar soda, but diet soda, too, that harms teeth. The acid in soda attacks teeth. Once acid eats away at enamel, it goes on to create cavities, leaves stains on the tooth surface and erodes the inside structure of the tooth. To avoid drinking-related tooth decay, limit soft drinks and take good care of your teeth.